Well, I have my Kodak PlaySport here. This is the older version, and it doesn't want to start. I tried my uh, battery from my PlayTouch in it, and it still doesn't work. I think what happened was my grandson was screwing with it the other night, and uh, he was in the settings doing something, and I'm not exactly sure what he did, but... You can click the power button as many times as you want. It just shows that Kodak uh, logo, and then it's gone. It won't start, so I'm going to see if I can fix it. And I think probably all I have to do is reinstall the firmware. I'm hoping, anyway, because the camera's in good shape. It worked good and stuff, so I really don't want to be without it because on a day like today I'll kind of sh uh, show you real quick it snowed quite a bit and I really don't like to take the play touch out in this kind of weather because uh, it's not waterproof the play sports waterproof so anyway I'm gonna switch over to the computer I think I have the firmware saved on my external hard drive, so I'll be right back. I'll switch over to the computer, and we'll see if we can get this thing working. So I have my Kodak PlaySport plugged into the computer, and right now it's showing up as a, a DVD RW drive and ArcSoft, and then SD card. It didn't show up as a SD card that I could actually use before. I had to format it because it was corrupted or something. So anyway, you might have to format yours too. So just leave that window open off to the side and just click on it and come into here. More than likely after you format it, you won't have anything in here. But maybe what I should tell you is... Uh, uh, create this folder just just get that out of the way right now so right click go down to new uh, click on folder and then rename it to system and you're probably only gonna have this system folder in yours so let's go back to Google and type in Kodak PlaySport ZX3 firmware or if you have the ZX5, uh, replace that 3 with a 5. And when the search results come up, it should be the first one. Mine is Kodak.ca, uh, and it should bring me to a spot where I can choose. So I'm going to go up here to uh, Downloads and Drivers. Actually, I screwed that up. Go to uh, Digital Video Cameras first. And then come over here and select Downloads and Drivers. Windows 7, if you're running Windows 7 like I am. And the first result is the one that, that you actually need. So click on that. Scroll all the way down and click Download save the file wherever you want to save it. I have already done that as you can see but I don't care I can just delete it. Double click on that and run and then unzip it to wherever you want to unzip it to. Mine I unzip to uh, my desktop. I'm not gonna do it again because I already have the file there. So now that you've unzipped that you'll have a full uh, file like this and it's uh, the firmware file so now you have to go back to your SD card and the system folder that you made and drag that into your system folder as you can see I've already done that so I'm not gonna do it again and then just click off of that uh, go here and safely remove your ZX3 or ZX5 whatever you happen to have 
and now you're done on the computer so I'm gonna go to my uh, play sport and I'll show you what you have to do next alrighty so I have my Kodak play sport here and I'm gonna turn it on and hope that it actually does what it's supposed to do whoa Okay, so there we go. There's the firmware updating. It's not actually updating. It's uh, just restoring the firmware because the firmware was actually up to date anyway. Now let's turn it on and hope that she's going to work. Yep, there we go back up and running thank goodness because uh, I don't use this all the time but I do use it a bit so I'm glad that I actually was able to get it up and running so anyway I'm gonna go my son's uh, messaging me on Facebook so I'm gonna go talk to him and I'll talk to you guys later